What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlook here. Today actually going to talk about Saw X in this video here today. Saw 10 I guess you can call it. And I don't really talk about the Saw franchise on this channel. I haven't done videos on this franchise since Spiral came out last year leading up to it and my review for it. But I wanted to talk about what's been going on with Saw 10 and where it looks like we're going and my thoughts on this whole thing since I am a fan of the series. But I remember back in December Josh Stolberg had put out a tweet stating that he was back with his whore family polishing up the next Saw script and he can tell us there will be a lot of blood you know that already but he can promise us that this is going to make John Kramer fans very happy now that was in December and then in January of this year One Take News gave out an exclusive saying that Tobin Bell was being eyed for returning the upcoming film now this movie apparently according to them they learned from sources that he is being eyed to return as John Kramer Jigsaw in the upcoming Saw film after being absent since 2017 in Jigsaw and then the upcoming Saw movies is planned to be very much about John Kramer a John Kramer story and while we don't know the status of his contract yet or if he'll or if talks have started we'll update you guys as we learn more sources tell us that the idea is that this story is being told from Kramer's point of view as opposed to following the trap victims we've been told that it's planned to take place prior to Saw 3 although we couldn't find out when specifically sadly no other characters are slated to return at the moment but since the script is in the early stages this could change in the future now the other thing that i want to talk about was the fact that josh stolberg who is again of uh, one of the co-writers for this new movie he's he's written uh, a few of them in the past too i think he also wrote spiral and um he's I think he's directed some of them as well, but he stated, well, no, he just wrote them. He stated that he can't comment on anything that has been officially announced, but he can tell us that this is his favorite script of the three Saw movies that he's written. Now, this is his favorite of the three Saw movies that he's written. Now, I just want to talk about the fact that this movie so far doesn't seem like it's going to be getting shot at least at this stage of this year i hope it were to be getting shot later this year and then releasing sometime in 2023 but there is a chance that this movie starts filming in 2023 and getting released in 2024 i do have to point that out because it seems like from what i see on josh stolberg's twitter that he's working on another project um and just put saw x on the back burner for now but my thoughts on saw x in general i was a fan of spiral um i still to this day believe the original saw is the strongest one and i think the strongest sequel does indeed might it, it does indeed might be saw 2 saw 2 has an advantage over spiral for me and then after saw 2 i jump instantly to spiral as like my top three when i'm when i'm ranking these movies so when considering that i guess to a lot of people spiral and Jigsaw were failures when it turned when it comes to trying to take the narrative away from John Kramer and his disciples who we have countless disciples that I think people are still frustrated about because there's still questions surrounding Hoffman and people still have questions surrounding Amanda but then you introduced another one in Jigsaw and then we got a copycat in spiral who really doesn't have anything to do with uh john kramer from what we gather other than being inspired by him and now with saw x this is not going to follow up in anything that related to spiral it's just going to be another john kramer narrative it's going to be before saw three in between something with the first two and three i guess uh with this i think that people are going to already want to see hoffman back even though I think that's not going to happen. Knowing that it's being told mostly from John Kramer's perspective, if that's what they actually go with, I think we, of course, will have a opportunity to have a very well-performed movie to watch. If to if Tobin Bell is the person that's going to be with us for, for a bulk of this narrative and getting to spend a lot more time with him and his character Jigsaw, John Kramer, maybe learning some new things about him and what was going on with Hoffman, Amanda, maybe without them actually being there. You know, there's so many different things I think you could do from a Saw film told mostly from the perspective of Jigsaw. I think a lot of people also would argue that they would want to see these movies go back to the Saw nature of it all and less of, I guess you could say, screamness, scream nature that we've been seeing, where you have these whodunit formulas even though saw 
I guess you could say was a whodunit. I think the difference that I'm thinking of is that when you watch Saw and Saw 2 from what I'm recalling, I'm sure there's some other ones in here, but I'm just thinking about the first two. Saw and Saw 2 give you these assumed killers. So you aren't going into it already knowing that you're watching a whodunit. You find that out along the way with these twists and revelations that ultimately make these make these outcomes and these payoffs that much more shocking and rewarding to watch on screen with Spiral and Jigsaw and, you know, the other ones that had to do with his disciples. You already know who the killer is. So I think a lot of people feel that a lot of the mystery was erased from it. So I think if you can somehow go back to that in in Saw 10 where you are exploring John Kramer, but you so you're giving us the assumed person who's our villain, but then along the way you reveal that there's somebody else involved or you just reveal that it wasn't actually him pulling the strings this time, it was one of his disciples or something like that. And you know, turning it, flipping it on its head and making it a who done it. That's when the who done it formula for the Saw movies I think is most effective. Not when you already go into them knowing that it's somebody you have to suspect from the new crop of cast members versus going in knowing who John Kramer is, knowing who Jigsaw is, there's your assumed villain right there and you're going to be told something else shocking along the way that ends up twisting it into a who done it. That's when the who done it formula has always worked the best for this series for me. It worked very well in the original. That ending is still one of the most shocking things I've ever seen in a horror movie. So with Saw X, I hope that we see something that starts to go back to that and you obviously have a chance to do that when you're already giving us our assumed villain with jigsaw hopefully we see some cool traps of course hopefully we see all the signatures from this series but if tobin bell is back i know a lot of people also have argued that's them admitting that they can't really move this narrative forward without him even though i think they've tried to now two times uh but we'll see how this all works out are you guys excited for saw x are you excited that josh stolberg is the one writing it are you excited about anything with this franchise let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, you can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.